what people don't realize is you do have a choice. You either perpetuate the problem and you perpetuate the past or you turn and you shift and you start creating a new future or you start living a new way or you start doing something differently. You know, um, it's that choice. It's that dog crap or diamonds. And I understood that I had been creating dog crap and I, and, and what really transformed me was I realized that, okay, I'm like 25 years old and I've walked on this planet for 25 years. And at one day I thought, wow, I have walked on the planet for 25 years and I've had, I've done massive leg damage. I've torn all the tendons and the ankles and, you know, through sports and different things. I mean, just a lot of it. And I thought, you know, I have all these leg injuries and foot injuries and things. I have never, ever been grateful for my feet to have carried or my legs to carry me around on the planet. I can walk. Other people can't walk. I have legs. Other people don't have legs. I have feet. Nobody has feet. And I'm lying on the floor in my apartment thinking, I love my toes. I love my toenails. I love my bones. I love the fascia. I love the tendons. I love, I mean, I just went through everything and started thinking. And then I worked my way up my body. And then I went into the systems, the endocrine system, the restoration system, the circulatory system, the eliminate. I mean, I just, I was just exploding with gratitude for, for myself and, and everything. And I came out going, wow, this is amazing. I've never felt like this. And it dawned on me at that time that because some people believe we go around millions of times and some people believe we live here once and some people believe we go to heaven and some people believe we, we go to the dust and, and you know whatever and i just went if this is my shot if this is my life i'm on the planet and i act like i don't belong here and i do belong here and if you believe the garden of eden story then you were put here you know that kind of thing. we were put on the planet for dominion and i thought wow i own the planet this is my planet this is my life this is my time i am an owner of the planet and I came out, you know, saying I own L.A., you know, kind of thing. And people get mad at me going, oh, you're so arrogant. I go, no, no, no. I share it with other people. They're everywhere, all co-owners. The, but the planet, you know, and it was suddenly that I realized I had a responsibility to myself. I had a responsibility to other people. I had a responsibility to the environment around me that I'm here and I have an impact, that I can have an impact. I can help. I can assist. I can I can help guide. I never take that lightly and I never take it too seriously. I love to connect with people. I love to meet people. I love to have conversations with people because it's, it's in these exchanges. You know, I've been doing this for like 50 years. I've never wanted to be uh, on stage like Tony Robbins, the way Tony Robbins is on stage. I'd rather be working with 10, 12, 50, maybe 100 people. So I've done the 20,000, you know, people in a stadium and stuff. But but you can't you can't interact with 20,000 people, even 100 people is pretty hard to interact with. So, you know, I love working in small groups. I love connecting with people. I love getting to know people because they're, you know, people are incredible resources. They're people like yourself and other people who I learn from, you know, who are my mentors, who who I get to, 